Hi, this is Amy, your Mac mentor with another tech tip. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn off your iCloud drive without losing all of your files. Now, if you had checked this box when you first set up the computer or right after a software update, then um, all of your files from desktop and documents are now stored in iCloud. If you weren't paying attention, that box is checked by default. So I will show you where to go to change your settings and also to get your files back. So we're going to System Preferences and I'm clicking on Apple ID. This is Catalina. It might look a little different in a different operating system. And when I clicked on my Apple ID, I can see all of my iCloud settings are checked. The most important thing we want to check on today is under iCloud Drive and Options. If you see the desktop and documents folders checked, everything you see on my desktop and everything in documents will be synced to iCloud. Um, now, if you are paying for storage, you might notice um, down here how much storage you have, and you can manage this to see if you're paying for anything. Um, if you are, and maybe you don't want to pay for it, or you want to minimize your storage, or you just want to turn your syncing off, um, you would uncheck this box completely, or um, if you just wanted to remove the desktop and documents from syncing, you can uncheck this box. And then when I turn this off, you're gonna notice all of a sudden, everything on my desktop is gonna disappear. So at this point, you might be thinking, did I lose all my files? But you did not. When I click on Show in Finder, if you missed this prompt, you're just going to click on Go and then iCloud Drive. What has happened is uh, everything got removed from iCloud Drive, but it's in an archive folder. So what we want to do to move these back into your system folders, we're going to create a new Finder window and go to your home folder where now we have a new desktop and documents folder that are empty. So what I want to do is take the empty desktop folder, which is my current desktop, go to my iCloud drive copy and open this up. Here's all my stuff. So I'm just going to select all of the contents and drop that into my new desktop folder, or you can just drop it right on the desktop. And at this point, you get a confirmation to move these items from iCloud. So at this point, you are moving the items off of iCloud onto your system. So just be aware of that. Now you should have another backup. So we can talk about that in another session. Now that I have my desktop files back, um, I also want to put my documents folder, which um, also was emptied. But when I look here in the iCloud drive, here it is. Um, documents folder. If I open this up, here it are all of my documents. So again, I'm just selecting the contents, not moving the documents folder, just the contents, and then dragging that into the empty documents folder. And again, I'm moving these off of iCloud, and now they are only stored on my system. If we look at your settings, um, this is now unchecked. If we check that back on again at any point, um, it will sync back up with uh, whatever is on your desktop and documents. Put those back into iCloud if you do choose you want to do that. All right, that's it for today. I hope this was helpful and have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.